My name is Sweetie. I'm 10 years old. I live in the Philippines. Every day, I have to sit in front of the webcam and talk to men. Just like tens of thousands of other kids. The men ask me to take off my clothes. They play with themselves. They want me to play with myself. As soon as I go online, they come to me. But what they don't know, I'm not real. I'm a computer model made piece by piece to track down these men who do this. Webcam child sex tourism is a new phenomenon that's spreading like an epidemic. Men from rich countries pay children in poor countries to perform sexual acts in front of webcams. We estimate that tens of thousands of kids, some of them only six years old, are abused behind cams in the Philippines alone. But instead of hundreds of thousands of convictions, we could only find six men who have ever been charged. Our solution? Proactive policing. To stop predators, we need to patrol the websites where they commit these crimes and catch them in the act. We went undercover posing as a 10-year-old Filipino girl on public chat rooms. Sweetie is a computer model we created to look and move like a real girl. I'm not real. Men think she's sitting in front of a webcam in the Philippines, but actually, we were operating her from a warehouse in the capital of the Netherlands. In just 10 weeks, we identified 1,000 predators from 71 countries. Instantly, Sweetie became world news. Webcam sex tourism. Investigators tracked down their addresses and photos and handed them over to Interpol. She is the weapon against online sex tourism. 46 Australians have been handed to international police. I'm of course very happy for Tsarisoms that they have made this case. One billion people have seen the Sweetie campaign. Webcam child sex tourism is now a globally recognized problem. But what we're most proud of Predators are being stopped. 17 people from Britain have been arrested. And children are being saved. Around 15 children aged 6 to 15 were rescued. 